Hey guys, welcome to InView AI and today I have an amazing tutorial for you. It's going to be very simple and straightforward tutorial on how you can start using Stable Diffusion on RunPod. So right now on your screen, you'll see a timestamp of all the things that I'm going to go through. So you can directly skip to the part that you want to see or you can watch the entire video. So first things first, you need to log into your RunPod and add some credits. I think the minimum that you have to add is $25. Uh, Once you are done with that, you can either come to Community Cloud or Security Cloud. Uh, it depends of the Security Cloud are a little higher as you can see for let's say a 3090 over here it costs you 0.44 dollars and for a community cloud over here it costs you around 0.34 dollars so there is a 0.1 dollar difference uh, it does make a difference as sometimes the community clouds are not available so secure clouds uh, are a better better option over here right now for a slight increase in the price but let's let's go with the community cloud for tutorial because i think most of them are going to use this so once you've selected the gpu that you want to use click on deploy over here so the first thing that you have to change is the uh, disk space. If you're okay with 75 gigabytes and you don't want to have a long term uh, persistent disk space, you can uh, keep it at as it is or you can keep uh, or you can increase the disk space, which I like to do because I don't want to redownload everything again and again. So I usually keep it at 150 and I click on set over drives. Now, one thing that you have to make sure is you have to select this exact template, which is I think at currently at 10.2.1 and do not select anything else once you are uh, done with it make sure you ch selected uh, start jupyter notebook and click on continue here you will have a list of all the pricing so these are the pricing when the gpu is running and once you disconnect the gpu and it will still cost you 0.04 dollars if you exit it because uh, we're gonna have some storage so it's gonna charge us for that storage then you can click on deploy and then it will start deploying our pods over here so you can click on my pods and you can you will be able to see it starts uh, loading everything okay once this is loaded up you should be able to see this kind of a ui and you should wait till like it's one minute or you should wait till the gpu memory is up to 30 percent then uh, once it uh, once you see that you can click on connect and you can open these both both of these link so the first link the 3001 port will open automatic 1111 web ui and the second link which says jupyter lab will open this file directory system which is very important for us to do all the customization that we need inside our automatic 1111 so as you can see with the template we get three uh, models which are already good to go we get uh, the latest version of uh, automatic 1111 plus we get control net but as you can see there are no models and you can see like there are no custom checkpoint models or LoRa's or textual embeddings in versions so we're going to download everything and i'm going to give you in-depth tutorial on how you can do that so for the models that you want to download just come over to civitai.com all the links will be in the description so once you're here you can just select whichever model that you like to download so for this example i'm going to uh, just use epic realism i really love this model so what you have to do is come over here click on the download options and once you see this file just right click over it and copy link address so sometimes you might see this create button or sometimes you might see this download option so always right click on it or click on copy link address once you have downloaded the link from civit ai come over to stable diffusion web ui go inside models and go inside stable diffusion over here you have to put all of your checkpoint models so always make sure the you're always selecting a checkpoint model which you want to download and it's not a LoRa or something else because they have to be placed in some other folders. So once you've done that, you can come out to, to terminal and uh, just make sure your directory is correct. You need to be inside this directory exactly. And all you have to type is wget and then paste in your link and then press enter. So once that is done, you should be able to see like it started downloading and it says redirecting to wget log, which you can see over here. And if I double click over it and you can see it's still downloading. So this is not uh, exactly uh, updating at real time. So what you can do is uh, close this and open this again to see it's still downloading and you can see it's at 18%. One thing that you have to make sure is once this is downloaded, you have to rename the file. So you can see it says saving to this type of file name, but this type of file name would not work inside our automatic 1111. So once this is downloaded, I will rename the file. So as you can see, it is completely downloaded and it says this is the model file name. So you can see on the left, it's the same name. All I have to do is rename this. So what I'll do is I'll just copy the name so that I remember which model it is and I'll rename it as it is. And then I'll, all I have to do is write safe tensors and make sure the spelling is right and just save it like this. And you can come back to automatic 1111, click on refresh over here and you should be able to see your model on the top left. So this is how you download checkpoints. I'll show you now how you can download the LoRa's and embeddings. 
So I'll come over here, change my filter to LoRa's. Once these LoRa's are loaded, I want I will I will select any LoRa which I want to download. So I want to select this LoRa. This is a really great LoRa to download. And you can see there is a download button over here. So I'll click and copy link address. Now just follow where I go. So just go come inside the models folder. So and inside LoRa inside models folder, just select LoRa over here. So here we have to paste all of our files and. You can see we don't have open terminal option over here. So all you can do is click on this plus icon. Make sure we are in the right directory. Click on terminal and you have to follow the same steps. Type in w get and then paste the link and it will start directly downloading. And you can see it's downloaded. And again, we have to rename the file. It should it should take some time to load the file over here. But all I have to do is rename the file later on. So I'll just click on rename or uh, not delete. I'll just click on rename. I'll just select the name over here. And make sure there are no spaces in the name. So what I'll do is I'll put underscores and I'll put dot safe ten search. So once this is done, I'll come back to automatic eleven eleven. I'll check my LoRa's and I'll just click on refresh over here, and I should be able to see my detailed tweaker LoRa is ready to go. Same you can do with textual inversions. You can come to Civit AI. Change the filters to embeddings over here, and once you've selected which embedding that you want to use, I want to use Easy Negative. I'll just click on the download option and I'll click on the copy link. I'll come back to the models folder. I'll come back to the stable diffusion web UI. Right now, I'm outside the models folder, and here you should be able to see embeddings. So here we have to place our embeddings. So I'll just click on the plus icon. I'll click on terminal again, and then all I have to do is just type in w get and paste my link. It should download it, and I think I should be able to see it's a fairly smallest file, so it should be downloaded within seconds. And yes, it is. So all I have to do is just rename it again, and just make sure the file model type is safe tensors all always. So I'll just rename this as easy negative dot safe tensors. So right now everything is ready for me. Uh, my textual embeddings are ready. My LoRa's are ready. My checkpoint is ready. And for the people who want to download all of the models for uh, Control Net, and as you can see, Control Net models are not directly downloaded. All I have is the Canny model. So I have prepared this Notepad, which will download most of your Control Net model, except for Canny bears, because as you can see, Canny is already downloaded. And it will take some time to download as these models are really, really huge. But I will provide the link to of this file inside my uh, description, so you can like copy this directly and paste it inside the right folders. So all you have to do is navigate to the right folder. So we have to come inside extensions here, and inside extension we should come inside Control Net, and inside Control Net we have to come inside models. Then I'll click on the plus icon. I'll open the terminal. And I'll just paste my all of all of the links together and I'll press enter. And this will start downloading all of the models together one by one. And this will take around uh, 10 minutes to download. Also, when you're done using your stable diffusion, you can just uh, delete these and you can come back to my pods and make sure you stop it. Otherwise, it will keep charging you and you will lose all of your credits. So make sure you click on stop button and you will be you will see this uh, red message which says that you will be charged this amount for your volume storage. So you can either pay this amount or you can directly terminate everything and you will uh, save uh, that amount of money as well. But you will uh, lose all of your data, whichever whichever that you have created. So make sure uh, to either terminate because if you want to save data you have to terminate this entire run pod or you will be charged uh, if you want to keep this you can just leave it as, as it is and you can directly start from where you left so this was it for the tutorial and now you can start creating these amazing images absolutely really really fast on a 3090 if you have any doubt leave them in the comments below and let me know how you like this video so please make sure to comment like and subscribe thank you